Get on. All right. Good morning. How are you? Let's see if you comment, send me a heart, something. Let me know you're alive. I am here. I'm not going to tell you where, but I'm here at Liza's house. I'm not going to tell you the location. But uh, if you hang on to the end, I'm going to have a Q&A with a, a prize uh, for you. So let's see if we get some people on. Jennifer, are you here? I know it takes a second or two to get in here. So I'm going to give you a little spin around. There's Kaif. There's Brandon. And there's Miss Liza. All right, so let, let's just get this started. You guys can watch this later. Ah, there we go. We got a heart. So this is Liza's um, home. And this is where, if you didn't know, Liza used to run the business of Glorious Color, which she has since sold. But this is the room where uh, the fabric would be shipped from. And um, I'm going to turn it over to Liza. All right, Liza, here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Thank morning. you for having me. Well, welcome to my glorious studio, Scott. It's been a whole year since we've been uh, friends. A Wasn't little less. Not quite yet, but we're getting there. A year ago next week. Is that when we first spoke? We sure did. Thank, okay. you. Thank you for rescuing us. What, what a year has done, huh? A year has done. Wait, just so you guys know, all that noise is this puppy. Abby puppy. And Donald Trump. Oh, Brandon. All right, let's not do that. <laughs> They're still getting over the last thing, but all right, let's go. So, all right, so we're in the studio. We can't waste any time because there's so much here. I feel like when I was at Cape's house and and Brandon's, and there's just so much stuff. And Liza's gonna go through some stuff. Cape and Brandon are gonna talk, and and then we're gonna go to lunch. So, all right, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna shut up. So, um, I make most of the quilts that Cape and I have been making since. 1993 and uh, they used to be made in a much smaller space than when I sold the business I got this glorious studio so if you look over here uh, you'll see a stack of quilts on this shelf okay and then behind Brandon here are the fabrics that we're designing the next book with which are all the classics and the two seasons the one that's being shipped now and the one that's being shipped in August so if you see fabrics there that you have your tongue hanging out and you can't wait to have, it may take till August. All right, let me give you a little zoom in on some stuff here just so you can see what's going on. She's got a stash. Her stash has a stash. But this is a lot of great stuff. It's unbelievable. So here we go. Let's see. You'll see it's arranged by fabric. If I had my druthers, it would be arranged. Liza, by could you come with me a little bit? Because it's when the when I'm facing away with the camera, they don't hear as well. Okay. Um. So all right. So over here we another have another stack of quilts. Another stack of quilts, and, and an, another dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. And if you think that's a lot of quilts, um, Kate has twice as many. Yes. We, all right. So do you want to talk about this? Well, this is one of the quilts that will be in the book that comes out in September of 2020. Okay, so you hear that 2020 new book? Which one? What? What are we calling this one? It'll be sh it'll be shot in Sicily. What they're calling it? Uh, who knows? It's going to be shot in Sicily. True or false? I've been to Sicily. Lori and I went on our honeymoon to Sicily. Yes. And there are a lot of fabrics that you will not see until August in that quilt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. But you need to have all of them. All of them. All of them. All right, what do you want to do next? So we this is more. More racks and bolts and the whole thing. Okay. okay. So this is a quilt that I'm stitching on, can I just say? Yeah, of course. And it's one that I've done, which uh, is just a once-off, you know, personal statement of just lots of dots all Very melting together. Very cool. And I'm stitching it with... Uh, a lovely long running stitches that um, kind that, of add to the texture. Is there one that we could? Oh, so here you yeah. can see. Oh, so it's like a big stitch kind of. Yeah, yeah, great big stitches. You uh, can see it in yeah. this one. Yeah, you can see just big running stitches. Toe catchers. Very cool. What do you put on the back, Keith? On the back is Millie Fiore, uh, um, okay. one of my original colorways of that. It's crazy. It looks just like the paperweights. It is. Yeah. The paperweights. I know. It it's, it's so crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And All right. Over here, 
We have the first quilt we ever made. All right, so so one of the things um, Liza and Kate wanted to show everyone is just how far they've come. And Thank this you. was one of their first quilts this that they is made. This the first quilt. No, this is the first quilt that they made. Yeah. And this quilt, it just reminds me of, you know, when I used to go into my dad's office when I was a kid, all this, it was just all about these florals, so. And very, very muted yes, colors. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we've since grown up into our incredible palette. Yes, it's very, but it, it's crazy. It's just so muted and now yeah. it's, it's so vibrant and bright and there's so many other colors that, well, that you guys are using. It's why we had to get into the fabric business because this is what was available. What do you use on the back then? Did they have quilt yeah, backing or are they just... No, just boring. Ticking. A ticking strike. Yeah. Oh, and here you'll be amused because of the business your family and mine had been in. These were buttons for men's underwear um, <laughs> from the turn of the century. Ivory That's buttons. Funny. Wow. <laughs> That's very cool. Do you want to show this? Sure. So, All right, I'm, look at this baby. These are uh, hexagons. I love hand stitching and making hexagons. And uh, this is gonna be the center of a medallion quilt uh, okay. made just for me, this, just because I love it. This is a fabric that I did for Liberties. I picked one of their classics and I did the coloring. And so that's gonna be the uh, border for this. Wouldn't that be a beautiful color combination? Is this for the book or this is just? Mm, no, no. This, this just is not. vanity. It's very nice. <laughs> really vanity. Like okay. Project. Do you wanna talk about that? Real quick. They only yeah. get a glimpse. All right, yeah. I'm gonna give you a teaser because I really can't show you this, but you know, <laughs> membership has its privileges. Don't tell anyone who's not in this group. All right, you ready? Watch it. Nope. This will, this will be a block of the month. Eventually. Okay, a block of the month eventually. So are we excited for Keith doing a block of the month? I think yes. I'm getting a lot of hearts. So you notice this is a camel colored flannel. Ah. And this is our old original design wall that has been dog eaten and dog chewed and pinned and everything. And why we had to invent the gray flannel, which we much prefer, but this is the original badly hinged, wow. duct taped <laughs> design wall. Okay. Still holding strong after 20. We're getting a lot of hearts. hearts. I think they lock, like the block of the month idea. Good. All right, what else do you guys want to see? So they, we got both. Uh, what do you want to say about this? Here, Liza, let me come closer to you so they can okay. hear what you're saying. So, our, our original fabrics were shots and stripes made in India. And this, uh, we called it, I think, African Weave? Yeah. Yes. And it was in um, one of our early hardcover books. I think it's so contemporary. Yeah. It is very Thanks. cool. How about this one up here? Um, this is called Gridlock. Now, when, when Kaif and I did our first book, we had a lot of tension. Kaif Tension wanted, between you two? Oh, yeah. Okay. He wanted to do quilts, like the one you just saw that was looked like an English country garden. Uh -huh. And I wanted to do his knitwear. In, in quilts. So he was wearing a qu sweater called Gridlock yeah. at my house, and I took a picture of his back, and I made that into a quilt. And it became one of our, our, our best quilts. And the tension was gone? Tension was gone, I got tension my way, gone. he got his way. We're still here. Okay. All right, Brendan, you want to talk a little? So yeah, I mean, you're I, Mr. Talkative, and you're so quiet. You must be dying over here. I, I'm exhausted. My, jo <laughs> my job is to tell them both what to do. <laughs> But under the list. No, um, I'm. What am I doing here? What uh, are you working on lately? You sent me some. You sent me some designs that you're working on. Um, these, I, the what you've seen on mocks up on the board here are my latest designs, which will be shown to you by your reps very, very soon. Um, and we've. I is think, that a make what market? Maybe, probably. No, yes, but they won't be shipped till August to the consumers. Okay, and um, they're big, they're really strong, really graphic, and we've had the most enormous fun cutting them up because. When you break down the designs, they they just give you such a fresh kind of cut, and it's very different from the collective. Um, that we've gone a lot more contemporary uh, contrast with our colours, mm -hmm. and more fiery, and it's got a real kind of snap. So we're really thrilled with that. I just arrived here last evening. Um, we've got a business engagement in New York City tomorrow. I think it is tomorrow, and then we fly back to England on um, the thirteenth. So um, we're just catching up, having a real time with Liza and seeing uh, what projects and what fingers she's got going on. Um, she's working up to a tour that she's going to be right doing. Here. Um, so I have a question. So so we're getting, uh, Greg told me that we're getting ready to ship out uh, the, the what is February. it? February. 
Well, the February line, but what is it? KFC 2018. Oh, you know, we're so confused. Yeah, I don't know. So, Whatever. The next line, of which I've been teasing you with lots of pictures, is shipping out. Do you guys get excited when it comes out? Do you yeah. do people contact you and say, oh my God, I love it? Or You know, it's been a, like a labored birth. We've been dying for this collection to get as, as I'm sure you shop. Yes. Really, because, but you know what? It was a delayed because the new system kicked into place. And I think once this collection gets to your shop floors, you'll start seeing the movement flow um, and we'll get back up to as as things work um, so that we're very excited about but then now Kate and I are when we go home we set up an we set up an exhibition at the American Museum in Bath then we go to Ireland to photograph um, oh no we do a series of workshops then we go to Sicily to Ricky doing our photo shoots, which we're possibly planning doing the next book, which will come out in 2020. Wow, you're a busy guy. Yeah, so it's um, pretty much all gold. Do you ever so get home? I'm kind of looking forward to getting home. I've been away two and a half weeks on this trip, and I'm ready to get my feet back into the creative table. Um, but no, you know, I've been loving it. All right, let's see what you're making. Okay, this is a kit. Uh, that a friend of mine has been working on for 20,000 years. <laughs> are, you, I, are you a UFO? Uh, yeah, and I got so annoyed at her, I just took it off her, and I finished it for her, and I'll send it back. Um, this is one that Kate did called... And how does that help her? <laughs> She'll get the kid finished. <laughs> She'll get on with something else. How did that help her? Well, she's, you know, uh, she's got another project. She's one of those creative spirits. She goes from one thing to another to another. All right, so I'm going to go back to you guys. Oh, so we got okay. some big news. Well, this fabric is going to be in the February uh, launch, so you'll see this soon. There are actually two fabrics here, Tiddlywinks. Well, wait, let's don't not tease them because I see you have the embroidery on it, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. And this is the other fabric, which is um, striped row flowers. They'll come out in next week. Right. And it's been stitched with a uh, heavyweight thread, a hand stitching thread. Hopefully you guys saw the video that was going around on the Cave Collective page and on the Free Spirit page that um, the, the crew was doing a line of thread with, with Aurifil. Let's see the cover again. So it's check this. these out. These are doing, yep. Yep, there's the cover. Yep. And there's the fabric. Mm -hmm. of yep, the, of we the got them flowers. all right in there. Perfect. And the other line of thread that we just came out with is for machine stitching and they're neutral grays for doing seams which you and that's here. what i'm uh hand stitching on this quilt you're hand stitching and are these in shops yet or this yes. th yeah. they're mm -hmm. in shops mm -hmm. fantastic and then really exciting are two cruises coming up okay tell uh, us about the, the cruises the second cruise are they sold out yet or are they Not still sold open out, still room the yeah. second cruise is the three of us on a cruise Holland, America. Three of us does not include me, by the way. Could be. Four of us. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing Cantha stitching this on the cruise as my class. Kate is going to do painting and Brandon's going to do knitting. Can I ask a stupid no. question? No. No. What is Cantha? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming maybe other Kate? people don't know. That's the, these long running stitches. Oh, okay. It's fine. Yeah. Indian tradition. I got gotcha. you. And it's not even, it's very uh, free uh, flowing. I, it's just lots of fun. Big long running stitches. So uh, the three of us are going to do this cruise through World of Quilts Travel. You'll find them online. And it's an eight day cruise and all three of us are teaching. And That's then, not me, also. Oh, no, yeah. no, you, I'm not teaching. And then the other cruise, come on over here, is this coming June. It starts in Rome, and it goes out to uh, Gibraltar and back, and I'm going to be doing these little hexagon ditty bags. Cool. And there are two other, uh, three other teachers on the cruise as well. And again, we're... Anyone we know? Well, uh, Sue Spargo. Okay, Sue yeah, Spargo, yeah. we know her. And two wonderful British ladies, um whose names are escaping me right now because I'm being put on okay, the spot. Okay, sorry, sorry, forget <laughs> it. And so that, that still has room on it, and uh, that's a trip that's, I think, going to be 12 days. Okay, what else? More quilts, maybe? Oh, boy. You have any? Yes. You want to talk about this fabric? Artisan. Why don't we talk about this oh, and try Kate, to give it a little love? Okay, if you do this one. All right. Yeah. Well, I love toiles, the old French toiles, and so I was doing my version of a toile, which is... Um, lovely drawing and cross hatching and so forth and i love the ones that are surrounded by a color okay so let's just give, give background so this is the new 108 fabric that's right um this is a 108 inch backing fabric. right and the quality it's the sateen right yeah okay this is sateen and it's produced yeah. in china we and did it in three colors yeah four. So, three four 
Great, yeah, three, but but three. different different patterns and colors too. But yeah. this particular stone in the flower, wide, we only, did in three colors. Yes, mm -hmm. in yeah. the wide, it's only three colors, right? Yeah. So you guys got to get this in in your you know go to the shops and and check this one out. Kaif is all about cutting this one up, right, Kaif? Yeah, yeah, damn. I mean, people are actually cutting this and putting it into patchworks too, and, and it looks wonderful. And it's in a smaller scale for patchwork as well. Yeah, but but mm -hmm. if you wanted to use the back, you could. Sure. Uh, one, one of the other things I want to show you guys, which I found on Liza's shelves, if any of you are looking for a new idea to play with, the Indian strap cottons, yes. check this out for an idea. This is playing with the um, hexagons in our hand-woven Indian fabrics. Uh, and, and for all you consumers, if you go to the quilt shops, if they have the catalog for 2018, the stripes are in there, and you should have them buy it if you want to make something. Show them the back, because we, we, we know people like to see the back well, side. there's nothing like a good back side. Yeah, and... nothing like a good back side. <laughs> see, there's the papers taken out, and yep. the papers left in. We got the papers left in, and the papers out. So you can make so... these into little Valentine's cards. <laughs> Now this, I, can I talk about this? Yes, Kate. This, this is something I'd like to talk about. This is my artisan collection, which is the first time I've done batiks. And block prints from India. Yeah. And so we're wow. getting uh, a nice big sprawl of, of, it's just fun to put all this color and pattern together in, in these kind of, in, they're simpler patterns for me, so, so more we, graphic. We have normal 68 count cotton here. Okay, so she's they're using the 68 by 68 construction fabric Correct. as opposed to the 60 by 60 and 68 is what Kaif prefers. Yep, and the batik. Okay, maybe you should say why Kaif prefers that because that's always, a, 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 a people are always asking. Well, there are a couple reasons. One is um, before people started doing machine quilting, 68s was actually considered kind of lower grade and 78s was the preferred. We did ours on 68s and we liked the way there was color saturation, the way the lines looked on the weave. The 68s have a much tighter weave than the count 60. You know, when you buy quilts, for instance, the higher the count, the tighter the weave. Same thing with quilting fabric. So the tighter weave to us gives us the color saturation we like and the hand we like. We love it to be flexible and soft and silky. You know, not everybody's going to agree with us, but it's our line. Well, the, the, complaint, like the complaint we get is it feels thin, but I always tell people this is what Kafe wants, and Kafe's, yeah. Kafe's the boss, and Kafe also likes to do the, the, ne the no, needle, like, the like needle work, right? Like yeah. The hand stitching. That's right. Yeah. Right. And, and also, it's very good for applique. Applique and... And, and, and also, enough. if you want to flip the fabric and uh, sometimes use it on the front, but sometimes use it on the back if you want That's a softer right. version. Yeah. Uh, and, Scott, and, and it's... it's also, Scott, the other thing is sometimes when you sew on the machine, the fabric split and you get a white... It pops. It, the pops. it comes through. Yeah. Yeah. It comes through, and that is not nice. Right, no, that is so, not nice. So, no. um, we've held strong, we've held to the 68s for a number of reasons, but most of all, we like it best. And um, come, come our way. But I, ironically, now uh -huh. everyone is doing 60s. So 68s, are, I mean, and it is yeah, what it is. Yeah, we, we're yeah. fine. Our, we have a producer of it, but it's harder to come by. That's right. And it's actually became more expensive because every most people in the industry went 60s. 60s. All of our other companies, except all of our other lines outside of Cape is 60s. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying anything other than that, but just the point that they're now more expensive and they're more... Uh, less, co it's less common. But, um, but Cape is sticking with that, and we're sticking with Cape. So, Good. and let me point out why that's important. This may be sixty-eights. This is batik. This is a coarser fabric from India, and they're all sewed together. And we don't care that they're not matching in weight, yeah. or in color, or in texture. If we love it, it's going to go in the quilt. And I get all these people asking me, "Oh, but can I put the sixties with the sixty-eights?" Well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Patchwork comes from a make-do tradition. People made quilts out of their old clothing, yeah. and they didn't try to match up whether the denim went with the Liberty shirt. They just made quilts, and so there's our philosophy in a nutshell. Okay, now you guys got it. I'm, I'm so glad you pointed that out, Liza, because when you look at where the patchwork industry came from, where they it was out of making utility theory and quilts, taking the, anything they could get their hands on, putting it together. Yeah. Don't be so such a purist and enjoy yourself. Life's too short. I mean, you know, uh, if you like But it, you know what? I, I think it's important, which I, I know you guys always say, and a lot of people are always talking about being perfect. 
Yeah. And I know you guys have a theory. It's never perfect. And, yeah, exactly. and, and none of even for you, Kaif, and, and all you guys, it's just never perfect. You want to be kept Particularly in Particularly for me. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, perfection it doesn't interest me. It's sterile. Yes, but a lot of people are perfectionists. And, they, know. you know, they're pulling out stitches and pulling out I their know. hair. And, know. you know, instead of finishing the quilt that's going on for another yeah. month or two uh, or ten uh, or twenty. I will never have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Scott. All right. There's a fourth person missing, Philip Jacobs. Philip, uh, Philip, I think he said he had an appointment. He was he was uh, trying to see if we could, would wait a little. Philip, well, are you here? Our, our big scale of prints were wonderful for this layout of big diamonds. And this has been one of that our is successful a beauty. Patterns. Thank you. Love that one. Yeah, we do workshops. On you guys like this one? Stuff. I don't think so. Board you guys like this one? Give me a little heart. Come on. Wow, amazing. All right, so here you, come the hearts. You're talking about perfection. I wrote this pattern. Technically, you aren't supposed to take one of these, divide it in half, and put it on the edge because you'll lose your points. I didn't care. I wanted my quilt finished. Can anybody see that I've lost a point? Really? Nope. Just checking. You guys hear that? We're not perfect. These <laughs> look, guys aren't look, perfect. Look, you don't right need here, to be perfect. Right here, look. There's a point missing. Oh, my God. Oh, my She's God. She's missing a point. I'm going to kill myself. Well, you also have, 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 have to take into account. You see these arrangements from a distance. I mean, let's face it. Yeah. We all look better from a distance. Yes, so exactly. Work. Good from far and far from good. Yep. <laughs> let's see what's on the back of that one. Phil's painted daisies. Very nice. Oh, I wish Philip gets back from his appointment so he could be on with us. I do. Is he riding that horse again? I'm not sure. All right, what else you guys got? More quilts. I think they like the quilts the best. Okay, well, go over to the stacks and let them loose. Okay, you can reach him better than I can. All right, let's see. Oh. I want to show you. While, while they're getting ready, I'm just going to show you some more stash. Current Philip. They got this all marked. Really neat. This is a treat, guys. Treat for me, treat for you, treat for all of us. And don't tell any of the other executives at the other companies that I'm doing this stuff because we don't, this is our special thing. The Familia, you're part of the Familia. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah. Buttons, bolts, stripes. Uh, who did that one? I don't even know. Okay, this one was photographed in um, Doylestown. Nice. Do you know anything about this one, Liza, no. that one? he's holding? Oh, it was one of my earliest things. It was called Chinese Coins and Log Cabin. And Chinese Coins and Log Cabin. Very cool. Let me, let me get in close for you guys. And let me show you how fabulous the backing fabric looks. Okay, let's see. Using the Indian stripe. Nice. It's so homely and warm. Smoky. Homespun feeling. Almost famous. Which one? This is a rare so, glimpse. So talking about these Indian stripes. Yes, we're gonna push the Indian stripes today. Yeah, damn. Our most famous quilt. Th this is yeah. Wow. This is a quilt that really got people going. Oh my god. Now this is. Tell a, us about this. Yeah, exactly. This is a lot more. Looks a lot more complicated than what it is. I saw a handkerchief corners. And uh, Liza, can you talk them through how this came about? We got in close. Yeah. So um, our first our first fabric ever was the stripes, the Indian yeah. stripes. And it's what started our company. Because Brandon and I went out to India to this little village that were doing hand weaving and we started them doing a mm -hmm. beautiful set. Yes, I remember reading about that in the book. Yeah. You so, kind of put them on the map, that that yeah, uh, absolutely. that right. little village, right? You, you would love that place, Scott, yourself. Cool yeah. place. So, yeah. um, Let's see what's on the back of okay. this one. Can we oh. just talk you through how this yeah. Yes, yes, so, sorry. It looks so intimidating. What happened was Kate brought the swatches from this trip to India to my house and even I didn't know at the time, I said, I think you can make quilts with this fabric. And so he left me with the yardage, um, which started the company, and I made these bigger blocks, which look a lot harder. I put, sewed two yeah. together and mitered, and it looks simple. And there was a lot of garbage left over from doing these blocks. And this is the garbage. Talk about perfectionism. Scraps. I yeah. couldn't throw it out in case and it's just garbage. Oh, garbage. use that. Use that. So basically, each block is just made by two, two two different fabrics, and then a shot cotton in the exactly. middle to make up a block. But in order so, to make those miters, I had to chop off this garbage, and the garbage became the, the garbage center. Became beautiful. The center. This is some yeah. beautiful garbage. And then on the as the binding, it's the uh, stripe. Mm -hmm. on, the yes, the stripes the, are great for the binding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Very, really are. Very and then, neat. And then we have a, a, a pattern. I think we make great pajamas too, <laughs> or boxer shorts. 
Oh, does this say? Let's see. Yeah. Right. I don't know what it says, but I'll show you. Oh, Maybe I, you guys can figure it out. Just no. get a meal back to me when it goes on tour. All right. Well, let's keep going. We love quilts, so right, guys? Our, sec our second book, a little bit, was shot at a place yeah. called Font Hill, which is an arts and crafts castle. That's new. And I took the floor. Abby's right in the mix here. I took St. Mark's floor. Oh, my God. Which was all marble. Come, come, come oh, wow. I this love is all that one. This is other people's fabrics. This is before I designed fabrics. Right, oh, my a, God. I love that one. And by the way, every fabric in there is gray. It's because of what's next to it. That they could turn brown or green. So how old is this, Cave? Do you any oh, idea? 25, 25. 25 years. Yeah. 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 Wow. 25 years. Yeah. It's funny when you look from further away yeah. and get close up, it looks yeah. so different because you see yeah. all these little ditzy prints. But if anybody's yeah. been to Simarsk Cathedral in Venice, mm -hmm. then they would see the resemblance yeah. in where Cave got the inspiration. About those marble floors. Because all the floors are um, Stone. in geometric patterns. Was this in a book or anything? Yeah. Or this? Yeah. Yeah, which our first book. Oh, the yeah. first book. Passionate Glorious Patchwork. Oh, Passionate, Passionate Patchwork. Patchwork. Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. Yeah. This is great. And it was it, we photographed in this concrete castle, so the colors were just right. Okay, this is this is my current mania. Uh, it's really a shame we bought Free Spirit. English paper piecing. <laughs> I'm not having. I'm not. I'm not having any fun. <laughs> this is all by hand. English paper piecing. Oh my god. Sampler. Because Liza doesn't have anything else. To yeah. Do. Well, this is what I love to do. I, I just I just messed up their whole day. They were going to create a million things today. <laughs> so now they, they got no, nothing done today except this video with you guys. Well, good. <laughs> oh, Abby's loving it. And All right, the, let's see what's on the back. The backing is Millie Fury in a softer colorway. Mm -hmm. I love this. Thanks. So this cool. This is fun. Yeah, it is fun. And yeah. Do they have any questions for us? Do you guys have questions? Answer, ask them. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll answer. And then, by the way, at the end, I'm going to um, give some fabric away. I'm going to ask some questions, and we'll do the whoever answers it first will get the prize. You know, if you've got a new baby coming into the equation, how about that for a little baby cock quilt? Yeah. Using the Indian yeah. striped fabrics. Yes. It's, so, it's neat. It looks like washed out. Isn't it charming? It's a cool effect. So it doesn't always have to be high, happy colors. It can be something a lot more subdued and calm. Oh, is that not on there? Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, wow, no. they love it. All right, what else you guys got? Uh, how about a blast of yellow? No, no. This was I, was, I was given, Brendan, yeah. quick. Kate, do you have a favorite color? No. No. It, it, do I have a favorite breath? How do you is handle you disagreements in design and colorways? We all get our own way. We get yeah. we do it all. We, they, yeah. they do all the colorways. Yeah, they, they solve they, it very but easily. That, that's a very good question. You yeah. know, one of the um, muscles about why we work so well is that we collaborate and we bounce off one another. Cave will come up with an idea. He'll ask me. I'll come up with an idea. I'll ask him. We'll ask Eliza. We go back and forth. And then mm -hmm. it starts building. They're asking. She's asking... Uh, what was the last quilt pattern? I don't remember which one, I'm sorry. Hmm. And then this one is saying, uh, can you please make more border stripe fabric? Oh yes, we can, can't we, Scott? I have two coming <laughs> in April, Brandon. The yellow is gorgeous. All right, so, up, oh, Abby. <laughs> Abby. Abby. Why this is really nice. Let's see, what do you got on the back of this places. one? More stripes? Yeah, just ticking. Yeah. Just the ticking yeah, stripes. stripes. Uh, we, we made those. Yeah. So somebody asking about books, we're working on, um, a, uh, we're booking on book for 2021 now. 2021, 2021 now. 2021, yep. So Very we, nice. And you guys are going to do a, a tour again in the U.S. this we are, year? We are. Um, I guess at some point soon we'll be coming out with the dates. I did yeah. reveal that we will be at Colchester Mills. Um, and I actually will be there. I'm hoping maybe to catch up with them uh, somewhere else. But I did enjoy going on the tour. It was really uh, quite eye-opening.